11 years after 9-11, we have over 5,000 artworks in 62 countries on six continents. But this is not enough for us. We need to be in all the 192 countries. 94. 94. <laughs> Art illustrates the many commonalities that we as a people, we as human beings have in common. But what was most important was the fact that it instills in us a sense of, not only a sense of connectivity, but a sense of shared ideas about the world we want. We realized that there's so much we could get from our kids, from our children. And some of the art that you'll find here this afternoon will illustrate just that. Hopefully one day we're going to do the sixth wall in Africa somewhere. <clears throat> so here are the starting pieces. So tell me what you did. Um, yeah. Just a few words. Okay, so um, I drew all the seven continents and this is supposed to be a face and he's supposed to say peace. Because right. they're together. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Right. So peace and bridges, building the pieces and the bridges is something that we feel is so important, particularly for for our continent. I, I don't want to talk for the whole of Africa, but I just want to focus on small little conflicts that maybe are never reported in the New York Times, that nobody ever hears about. There's one statement which the UN probably needs to remember, that art is one of the greatest equalizers. And uh, I'm going to uh, request my friend Tobacco to see when he becomes a member of the Security Council, that all peacekeeping operations should include a segment about art and culture. That's how you can bring, integrate that.